crackberry.com. Okay, so we're at the Boxtone booth at WES 2010. We've heard the name Boxtone a lot on the blogs before. Boxtone enables business service management really for mobility, right? Because it's become mission critical to a lot of environments these days. And the end user experience is the first and foremost objective of Boxtone, to make sure it's a good one, right? Because there's a lot of moving parts, and we want to make sure that they're all working consistently and performing to their best. So we make it easy for administrators back at the enterprise to make sure that consistent use of the BlackBerry is day-to-day -day the same, right? Because it's an extension of yourself, right? If something doesn't, doesn't go right, uh, you want to be able to call somebody and get a quick response and a quick fix. So that's really where we enable the end user to experience Boxtown, is consistent call call, or consistent message delivery uh, and a good response times. Uh, well, Boxtown.com has a whole series of different segments on the website. So there's information for admins, there's information for execs, and we actually do even have a on-device application that anybody can download for 30 days to get a view into what you can put on a device, and that's called Boxstone Expert. So it's all available on the website. We're with the guys from Tether, and uh, they made a big announcement today. They're, they're moving from just their consumer-facing app to a little bit of an enterprise offering. So let's hear all about it from the guys who do it. Yeah, yeah, so we did. We made an announcement today with a press release. Uh, and what we're doing, we're trying to move in the uh, enterprise space by, you know, people with multiple licenses or, or want, you know, security, more security and, you know, a better way of, of running their systems uh, through themselves. So we're, that's what we're trying to offer with it. Go to our website, uh, www.tether.com. We, uh, we uh, uh, put a new link up. It's called Media Kit at the top. And you can get it from there or, uh, you know, hit us on our support site. You know, it's a tethering solution which offers you uh, web access through your BlackBerry data plan. And the way we do it is a little different from, you know, BDM uh, modem or some of the other ones. It's a one-time rate, one-time fee. Once you get it, you got it, no subscription. Uh, and with that, you know, you can access it and uh, it goes through the data plan that you have. There's no hardware, no sticks, nothing like that. Works on Bluetooth uh, and USB and uh, carrier agnostic. Yeah. I think that's, that covers it. Thanks a lot for your time. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. We're with the guys from WorldMate. They big, made a big announcement today, right? They have some new offerings. Our big announcement is that uh, we have partnered with American Express, the world's largest business travel uh, management company, to offer WorldMate uh, to their millions of users. That's a big announcement. That's good news for you guys. It's huge. We're all about business travel, and this is the, absolutely the biggest channel you can have. And uh, as you can see here, the Today screen that uh, has a brief summary of information the uh, location, the weather, etc. But the heart of WorldMate is really the itinerary. This is uh, where the user goes uh, to find their flights, their car rental, hotel, all the information. And the information comes here seamlessly. So wherever they book, whether it's through a travel agency or an airline or a hotel chain, they just forward the confirmation emails to trips at worldmate.com. And uh, like magic, we parse the information and, and sync it directly to the device. So that's all the information you see here. Now what happens is once the information is on the device, we monitor it in real time. So for example, if the flight and itinerary gets canceled, instead of sending a text message, we'll actually wake up the application as you see here, notify the user that the flight has been canceled, and then they can click the Find Alternative Flights button and find every other flight they can take instead. So this way they're the first ones out on the next plane out. We have a lot of other services. I'll show you one more which is very interesting. Um, it's hotel booking, which is in conjunction with our uh, with our booking partner, Expedia. So here the, the traveler can find any item in their itinerary or pick a city, uh, search for the hotels, and we'll pull up uh, over 100,000 uh, properties from around the world uh, that Expedia covers, and the user can search and book the hotel directly on the device. And as you'll see here, the hotels already start popping up. So it's very easy for the traveler, if they forget at the last moment that they need a hotel, they can book it right then and there within WorldMate. Okay. Where do they get more information, cost, purchase, and how many users do you guys have right now to start? Yep, we are now over 5 million registered users. So in terms of usage of smartphone applications, we're one of the biggest in the world. And for more information, just simply go to www.worldmate.com. Thank you very much. That's awesome. Worldmate, BlackBerry. The guys from Baylink, they're going to walk us through their uh, products. We've got liberty for both enterprise and consumer now. So the value prop in the enterprise is for their business traveler who doesn't want to carry 
um, when they got their laptop that's disconnected on the road and they need a way to do their emails in a quick fashion. So you've got multiple choices. You can pull your BlackBerry out and use your thumbs like you always do. You can carry your laptop around the airport or the hotel and try to find a Wi-Fi connection, but then you got to get a VPN connection and then you've got to launch Outlook to download email that's already on your hip. So we said that, that seems silly. So what we do is we take the data off the BlackBerry, move it short range through Bluetooth, or in this case, I happen to be using the BlackBerry cable that comes in every box, and we short range it to the PC so you can interface to the PC with your BlackBerry. So for example, we give you information about the pin and the batteries and the signal strength and the SD card. And then when you click mail, we just simply take the mail off of the BlackBerry and move it onto the screen in more of a desktop friendly like environment. So this would be your corporate Bez account. You have an inbox for that. If your corporation allows you to do Biz email, you get a separate inbox for your Biz email, which would be here. And we also do pin messaging. So again, everything's bound by the policies of your enterprise server. So nothing from a governance or security standpoint is bypassed. If your Bez server doesn't allow pin messaging, you won't see pin. If your Bez server doesn't allow Biz accounts, you won't see your Biz accounts. So that's why the governance and security folks in the large enterprises like our solution because it's architected off of the BlackBerry platform. And then in the same way that you do email, you can do calendar and contacts. You can right click somebody and send them an email. You can send them a pin, you can call them and we'll dial your BlackBerry keypad for you. You can send them an SMS message. We are waiting on RIM to finish the BlackBerry Messenger APIs. Uh, that's a big thing for us. In the consumer space, that's the number one request we get in the consumer space. They still see value in the mail and the calendar and the contacts and the pinning, but BBM is obviously a big part of RIM in the consumer space and we're looking forward to the day where we can integrate that into our product as well. And then from a browsing standpoint, um, you can browse through the enterprise or through the carrier. Enterprise browsing will go through the cell tower to the RIM NOC, through the RIM NOC to your BEZ server, and the BEZ server then is typically proxied into the enterprise. You can get behind your firewall without needing any VPN software running or any, um, any network connection. This is really, in a nutshell, the disruption inside the enterprise. If you look at the way traditional companies give their employees mobile app applications and data, it's a very costly technology stack. We disrupt that by saying all you need is BlackBerry and Liberty and you arrive at the same destination for a fraction of the cost. So you don't need a managed desktop. You can have an unmanaged laptop. You don't need remote access like VPN and SSL because you know we use the BlackBerry as the VPN in that case. And you don't need an air card or a USB modem because we're going through the, the BEZ gateway. So in a nutshell, that, that's some of the value proposition that we bring to our enterprise customers that range from banks and insurance companies. We have a lot of small, medium businesses, and now we're excited to get into the consumer space as well. www.bailink.com. Thank you.